you'll soon be receiving your Yorkshire Imaging Collaborative Remote Reporting Workstation. This short video is going to take you through the steps required to get the hardware set up, ready for use in your remote reporting environment of choice. Once you've got that set up, you'll be able to register to work in our new regional in-source reporting pool. But first of all, let's spend a little bit of time on working out how to set up the reporting environment correctly. Choose a location that protects your patient privacy and take measures to ensure that the screen is not visible to others. Make sure that it's a low noise environment so that the voice recognition works well and that you're not distracted. Equally, make sure it's an interruption free environment from both people and other media distractions. Choose an ambient low light setting, but not complete darkness, and make sure that it's free of reflections from lighting and windows. Picking comfortable furniture, be it desks, chairs or standing desks, is important for your own health when you spend hours reporting. The internet connection should be as fast as possible, and we always recommend a wired network using Ethernet cables rather than Wi-Fi. And finally, the environment needs to be safe for the equipment. Choose somewhere where the equipment will not be readily damaged and add it to your home insurance for a peace of mind. So let's take a look at what you'll actually receive. This is roughly what the boxes will look like when laid out, having been delivered to your reporting environment. Start with the computer, which is a Dell tower. Remove it from its box. Then move on to the barcode diagnostic monitors, which you'll have to take extra caution with because they are rather delicate, but very well padded. Once you've removed the padding and lifted up the monitor itself and the stand, you'll also find underneath it a set of peripherals, including a large AC power adapter brick. Carefully take all of these items out and put them to the side. Next, we're going to move on to the RIS monitor, which is a standard computer monitor. It comes with its own peripherals, such as a stand and cables. And in the lower part of the box, you'll find the monitor itself in a protective wrapping. Once removed from the box, lay it out with the other equipment. And finally, we're going to take out peripherals such as keyboard, mouse, and speech mic if you've chosen one for your reporting device. This is what it should look like all laid out ready, although please note we've only got one of the diagnostic monitors here. So now let's have a look at how to set up the equipment. Start by connecting the RIS monitor stand, lifting up the monitor itself, and clicking it onto the stand. After a firm click, you'll be able to take the plastic protective backing and apply it to complete the assembly of the RIS monitor. Next, turn your attention to the barcode diagnostic monitors and in particular the power brick. Start by connecting the UK AC power supply and plug to the power brick. Then we're going to attach the power to the monitor by removing the plastic panel which protects all of the ports. The power port's the one on the far right. Once you've plugged that one in, we'll move on to the port on the far left which is for the DVI, the display video cable. Finally, you can replace the protective panel and do the same for your other monitor. Bring in the Dell computer and heading to the back of the computer, this is the graphics card into which we're going to insert two mini DVI to DVI adapters. And once you've got those both in, we're going to connect the Barco monitors into these adapters. Finally, we're going to attach a USB cable into the back of the RIS monitor. It's a USB to DVI cable, and the other end goes into the graphics card of the computer, next to the barcodes. 
And this is what it should look like when it's all plugged in and set up. Bring out your peripherals. All of these connect via USB. Pulling the USB cable in any of the many available ports. And finally, connect your Ethernet cable to the network port on the back of the computer. So there you have it. That's how to set up your remote reporting workstation. And now all you need to do is get along and sign up for the in-source reporting network. I hope you're as excited as I am about the possibilities that this brings for an improved quality of working life and superior care for our patients across our network. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the InSource Reporting Network.